Hey guys, one of the extra little bonuses of electrochemistry is working with current, or amps, as you probably know them. One ampere is one coulomb per second. And what I want to point out is that a coulomb is really just a measure of how many electrons are going in. One coulomb per second counts how fast we're pumping electrons into the system, knowing that 96,485 coulombs is one mole of electrons shows you that coulombs is just another way to count. We have to use this knowledge though that an ampere is a coulomb per second when we're dealing with amps in questions like this one. Electrolyzing a solution of chromium chloride with 31.2 amps for 25 minutes. And we want to know what mass of CR solid forms. Well, remember, 31.2 amps means we're pumping in 31.2 coulombs every single second. How many electrons is that? Well, what I know is that one mole of electrons is 96,485 coulombs. What I'm doing here is dividing by the Faraday constant. I'm using unit analysis if you're a big fan of that. But 31.2 amps divided by the Faraday constant gives me 0 0.000323 Three, I'm going to keep all these decimal places. Moles of electrons every second going into this solution. So how many electrons have I pumped in over 25 minutes? Well, what I'm curious of is how many seconds that is. Turns out that that's 1,500 seconds. And if I'm pumping in this many moles of electrons every single second, I have to multiply it by 1,500 seconds to count the total number of electrons that I pumped in. I want that original number back because I don't want to lose any accuracy. Times 1,500 means I've pumped in 0 0.485 moles of electrons. This is where we get into the chemistry bit. This chromium has a charge of plus 3. That's because each chlorine has an oxidation state of minus one each, and this is a neutral compound when they're together. So that means in order to go from chromium three plus, which is probably aqueous, to solid chromium, I'm going to need to pump in three electrons for every single chromium atom which means to figure out how many moles of chromium I can make, I have to divide this by three. I'm only going to get a third as much chromium as I pumped in of electrons. Sweet. Then to figure out the mass of solid chromium that forms, all I need to do is multiply that by the molar mass which I don't have handy, but I'm looking it up online right now. The molar mass of chromium is 52 grams per mole. And I end up with 8.41 grams. Now I remember stealing this question off of a Yahoo Answer website, and that was the answer that they gave too. So that means it's right, because you can always trust Yahoo Answers. The point here was we had a certain number of amps going in. We, that allowed us to count the number of electrons. Knowing how many electrons we had pumped in over the amount of time, we were able to adjust it for how many atoms of chromium were made into solid chromium or reduced. And then we used the molar mass to get the corresponding mass of chromium that was formed. Let's do another one of these. How long would it take to get 10 grams of sodium from molten sodium chloride if we use a 10 amp current? Well, my first question is,
How many sodiums is 10 grams? The moles of sodium that I need are 10 grams divided by the molar mass of sodium, which is 23 grams per mole. That turns out to be 10 divided by 23 gives me 0 0.4348 moles of sodium that I need. Each sodium started out as plus 1, since each chlorine starts out as minus 1, which means we need only one electron for each sodium, which means we only need that same number of moles of electrons. No adjustments needed. If we needed seven electrons to do this conversion, we have to multiply this number by seven because we'd need seven times more electrons than we created of sodium. So now we have the number of moles of electrons that we need. We can convert that to a number of coulombs knowing that there are 96,485 coulombs in every mole of electrons. Moles cancels out. We're left with coulombs times 96,45, which gives me, whoa, is that true? 0.4348 times 96,485. Yeah, I didn't think that was true. 41. 952 coulombs. And finally, we need to remember that an amp really just means a coulomb per second, which means that the time required is the number of coulombs we need divided by the rate at which we pump them in. Coulombs cancels with coulombs, leaves us with seconds, and we were left with 41.95 seconds. It's quite a bit of time. 41.95 seconds is 70 minutes, which is really just one hour and 10 minutes. So it would take 70 minutes to convert Sodium, molten sodium chloride into 10 grams of solid sodium if we pumped it in, the electrons that is, at 10 amps. Obviously if we pumped it in at 10 times the rate, 100 amps, it would have taken a tenth of the time. But here's the point. Amps means coulombs per second. The rest of it's stoichiometry converting, oh I need this many moles of the atoms, so I need this many moles of electrons. And this is my rate of conversion between moles of electrons and coulombs. And an amp is a coulomb every second. It's all basic unit stuff. Hey, best of luck to you when you're doing amp work.